Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest. And today we are going to do prompts 15 and 16 in my childhood documented 80s style album. Um, if you haven't watched any of the other videos in this playlist, this was um, inspired completely by Leilani from Leilani underscore scraps over on Instagram, and she's just Leilani Scraps here on YouTube, I think. Um, but I am loving this project. It has been so fun. It has brought up so many nostalgic memories and, you know, some things I could remember easily, some things my memory was jogged when I was Googling the images and that kind of thing. And as Leilani had mentioned in her videos, this isn't really something that you have to have your own photos for. You certainly could if you had those particular, you know, photos from your childhood that maybe showed, you know, your toys or whatever. But um, it's mostly just, um, you know, you're collecting images that represent those memories. So it's a lot of Googling things and, um, and finding things to represent um, your childhood. So... I am going to go ahead and get you put on fast forward as we work through these today. So let's do it. Okay, I'm going to start us out again by taking off the back of my album and pulling out the last page so that I can work on the back of it. And this first prompt is mixtape. And I have been looking forward to this prompt since day one because music is life for me some days. I love listening to music. I have it on all the time. Um, lots of different genres, but 80s is still and always probably will be my absolute favorite. So I've got this blue kind of speckledy background. Up, up close, it kind of looks like little dots, um, but here it just looks more kind of blobby. But the cassette tape came in one of the digital kits, and so I just printed it out um, a little bigger than it was supposed to be in the kit, I think, and then just wrote the 80s mixtape on there. And, I mean, if you're from the 80s and you can remember sitting by the radio waiting to hit the record button so that you could try to get the whole song on your cassette tape, I mean, those were just some great memories there thinking about doing that. But um, so I'm getting this one adhered down to my base page. And um, again, that's Nina 110 pound cardstock that I've already cut to size, uh, scored, and hole punched. So I'm ready to go. This one needs a little trimming up. I didn't quite get it in. Um, even it's a little crooked so I've got to do a little trimming on it and those pink scissors if you see me grab out different scissors sometimes the pink ones I only use those for sticky things so if I'm needing to trim off something that has adhesive on it um, I grab those pink ones and then my rose gold scissors those I just use for cutting paper when there's not adhesive there um, and then I also have like fussy cutting scissors and things like that but um, and then I just clean these scissors every now and then with some lemon essential oil and it gets all the glue off and um, makes them nice and shiny and makes your craft room smell really good for a while. So, um, so I've got that page ready and then the other side I just left as plain white cardstock and pulled in two pieces of digital ephemera, uh, the headphones and then the boom box at the bottom that you'll see again here in a second. Oh, that was my husband saying hello. Um, and then I made this cassette tape have super maximum capacity because I put 18 songs on each side <laughs> because I just kept thinking of more songs and one song would make me think about another. And so I just, I kept going, but I made myself stop at 18 on each side, except for that special bonus track down there at the bottom of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley, because as we know, being Rick rolled became a real thing. <laughs> And I just thought that would be funny to kind of have that there as a joke. So now we are on to 80s hair. And for the title page, um, I pulled in a cluster that kind of looked like a label. And then I also pulled in a purple comb and a bigger can of hairspray. There's already one in the little cluster, but I pulled in that bigger one just to kind of balance it out. 
And then I typed in there, the higher the hair, the, close, the closer to Jesus, because that's something that we used to say, um, you know, just kind of in a joking manner. And um, that one I put onto just that big blue grid and left it alone. Now on this other side um, that I'm going to actually put the pictures onto, I again shrank down the grid a lot smaller. Um, you can see here it almost just looks more like a light blue paper, but it's actually that grid very small. And then I chose um, six pictures, five hair types really. Um, and so I'm going to get those put in place and then I'm going to take a Sharpie and just write up under there what each one represents. And so we have big hair um, and then crimped and then side pony and the rat tail, and then mullet for her and mullet for him, um, because women had mullets as well. I, I think I even had a little bit of one at one time myself. It wasn't as long as that one in the picture in the back, but um, it was definitely had those feathery wings on the side and some hair hanging down at the back. So um, again, just a lot of fun memories. And that rat tail, there were so many people at my school that had a rat tail, which I, I, you know, I came from a, in case you can't tell, I'm from the South. I'm from Georgia. And <laughs> I grew up in a very small town. So we had a, a lot of country boys and, um, you know, they, um, they loved those rat tails, but man, goodness gracious. Um, so I am going to get my numbers put onto these. So I'll do the 15 and 16 in those numbers from recollections that I've used throughout the album just to keep it consistent. And then that is going to finish up um, these two prompts for today. And it's hard to believe we only have just a few more prompts to go and the whole album will be done. So I will be back here to talk to you in just a second. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done right here. I really like how both of these came together. Um, it seems like I'm doing more and more with these digital kits as my album is moving along and I kinda like it. Um, having the a digital ephemera to be able to pull into Photoshop, it just makes it a lot quicker to put these together. Um, so I've mentioned before that if you ask me my favorite whatever, I have a really hard time narrowing things down to just one. I'll usually give you at least two or three choices. Well, when it came to this mixtape, <laughs> I, I went with 36 plus the special bonus track for Rick Astley with Never Gonna Give You Up because getting Rick rolled is a real thing. Um, and so... I just I kept finding more and more songs that I thought, oh yeah, that one is is good. I got to put that on the list. And you know, some of the bands maybe weren't like my most favorite bands, but the songs themselves kind of really define the '80s and just the times, the style, the way things were, the sound of the '80s. Some of them have a special meaning of you know they kind of take me back to a moment in time. I can remember where I was or what I was doing or who I was with when a certain song was playing. Um, so just a lot of good memories here on this page with these songs. And music does that for me anyway. I, I listen to music a lot, a lot of different genres, and um, I just. It's a very important part of my life, so I really enjoy looking up these different songs to put on here. All right, then we had 80s hair. And again, these were all, this was like a cluster and then two ephemera pieces that I pulled in. Um, still going with this uh, idea of the bigger pattern and the smaller pattern. I think the smaller pattern helps to show the pictures better. I think they stand out more. Um, so I really shrunk this one down. This was probably the one that I've uh, shrunk down the most um, so far. I kept having to just repeat and copy and paste and group and copy and paste until I got it all filled in. So for this one, I did big hair, crimped, side pony, the rat tail, which I will never understand, and then the mullet. And I gave um, a her and a his example because women had them too. So that's going to do it for these two prompts today. Next time, we'll be looking at Blockbuster Nights 
and then best movies. And this is separate for a certain reason because when I saw Blockbuster Nights on Leilani's list, um, the idea of Blockbuster and renting movies has a special meaning for me from my high school with my best friends. Um, and so I will uh, be sure to let you in on that next time. If you enjoyed this video today, I would love a thumbs up down below. I certainly pre appreciate you stopping by. It means more to me than you will ever know. Um, also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that and become a part of my little YouTube family. There will be some close-ups at the end, um, as well as over on Instagram. I'd love for you to follow me there as well. I post fairly regularly and um, share things that just don't make their way over here to YouTube. So, until I see you again, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.